friendlies I'm Carolyn and welcome back to my life on the road living in an RV today's video is a okay this got really confusing so last Sunday I tried to do a hidden secret video as a reward for everybody who watches all the way through a lot of you weren't able to access that video and in that video I also included the Leadville footage which wasn't finished I had originally tried to do all one video and I cut it in half long story anyway so today's video the 2000 or 2500 who did see the secret video you're gonna recognize a lot of the Leadville footage except this is the finished product of the Leadville footage the other video was just me you know the beginning parts of the editing process so you might be interested in seeing kind of how it how I put it all together uh, you know I, if you're interested in the process of editing, I guess you might be able to see and if you want the completed project with uh uh, fun facts. So that's one thing I wanted to let you know. Make sure you watch the screen on this Leadville portion because I did a lot of fun facts. Some of them are in captions, some of them are in voiceovers, but I included some of the fun history of Leadville. So even if you watch the secret video, you might want to check out the Leadville part. And then, uh, so my friend Christy was with me and then we went into Denver, had a fun vegan meal in Denver, and then I left Denver and had some issues with my tires. So that's all in this video. So uh, I think that's all I wanted to say. Oh, you might notice I have a change of scenery. Yeah, I have been driving for every day for about a week. I've been doing a lot of driving. So yeah, yeah, you might notice that I haven't been as active online driving every day. So yeah, very different change of scenery. Uh, but if you want more real time videos check out patreon i do post things more in real time there i don't tell most patrons exactly where i am but i did post a video kind of a sneak preview of the last week of my travel so if you are curious go ahead and check out patreon uh the patrons get extra perks for going the extra mile patrons and channel members i share different things at different levels so anyway if you want to join patreon go ahead and check it out i'll put a link right here if you want more up-to-date real-time stuff from me, but without further ado, let's get on to today's video. There ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got that mind on. COVID and everything so I haven't really been feeling like coming out here and of course I'm still training Sadie I've got my friend Christy with me say hi Christy so she's helping me with Sadie while I just walk around and shoot which is really one of my favorite things to do but like I said it's kind of hard with Sadie so Leadville is a, a old mining town and uh, it's got a lot of history here for the gold rush the legendary silver dollar saloon looks pretty cool so they say the feature of the windbreak in the front was both to serve to uh, keep out the weather and also so that women could peek inside because reputable women didn't go into bars back then but they could peek inside and if they saw their husbands in there they could yell at them later oh they even have a cauliflower bon me look oh man silver dollar saloon it was um, established in 1879 it's got a lot of history Leadville's Legendary Saloon. That's what it is. Leadville's Legendary Saloon. 
1883, shortly after the gunfight at the uh, OK Corral, Doc Holliday moved here, and he often drank in this bar. Doc Holliday lived across the street from the bar above the High Mam Saloon, and of course he was a dentist and a notorious gambler and gunfighter, and he often frequented this, the Silver Dollar Saloon, gambling dealing cards, tending bar, or playing the back piano that remains in the back room of the saloon today. So another reason I've never come down here is there's been construction down here all summer long, and it's been kind of hard to get around, and you can see it's still going on. I look forward to maybe coming back another time and checking it out. Look at this public restroom. Look how pretty. Yes. <laughs> like little bits of art, too. Oh, Zatz Park restrooms, and they're locked, so maybe, oh, look at that Leadville Harrison Ave. Oh, look at that mural. Oh, we can look at the map to see 5th fifth, fifth and 6th Street. Does it say you are here? Chrissy saw a sign for uh, Spanish fleas. <laughs> so a uh, uh, Spanish flea market it looked like with that antique. So maybe we'll find that. Oh, it's open. Restrooms, look at that. Doc Holliday wasn't the only patron of that saloon that we visited earlier. Margaret Molly Brown, known as the unsinkable Molly Brown, moved to Leadville when she was 18. And in 1886, she married mining engineer who was 12 years older, James Brown. Defying social expectations, Molly and John were frequent visitors to the saloon. My new bow. What do you think, my new bow? I think he's perfect for me. The Golden Burrow has been here since 1938 and boasts the largest menu in Lake County. Well, that's a bummer. Sadie and I got kicked out because dogs aren't allowed. Sit. We'll just Good hang girl. out out here then, won't we? Good girl. Sit. It's really good socialization and getting her kind of immune to all the noises and stuff and all the people. Yes, very good. Back to the famous people of Leadville. Oscar Wilde also appeared at the Tabor Opera House during the 1882 American Aesthetic yes, Movement. Good girl. Cool. So I just learned from uh, my the nice lady at B&B Mail where I get my mail. In addition to the Gold Rush history here and the fact that it almost was the state capital of Denver, which I don't think I told you, uh, Doc Holliday, she said almost every uh, Western gunslinger and bad guy hung out here. Doc Holliday had his last shootout here in Leadville over what she said was a trivial amount of money. And he shot the ex-Leadville policeman Billy Allen in 1884 who had threatened him for failing to pay a $5 debt. And despite all the evidence, the jury found him not guilty and uh, of the attempted murder, of the shooting or the attempted murder. And uh, then he went off to a town nearby, and I can't remember what she said, where he passed away finally of tuberculosis. So a lot of uh, fun history. Also more known for its silver than its gold rush. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is really awesome, oh my gosh. 1878, City of Leadville Incorporated, Tabor Opera House opens. I don't know if I saw that. Quincy Block, Lake County. Okay, I have to go check it out. <laughs> I have to go all the way to the top. What's up there? Is this a hotel? I wonder how I missed the Tabor Opera House. Baby Doe, Tabor, Matchless Mine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I need to get out and walk around towns more often. <laughs>
Goodbye for now, Leadville. Thank you for an awesome summer. I'll see you again. in Jerusalem, yeah. of course, that's where President Trump moved the U.S. Embassy. On the August 25th, 2016, four years ago sure. today, the head of the CIA was briefly warning that Russia is still at it, now actively working to re-elect. 17th Avenue. Chrissy's flight is early tomorrow morning out of Denver, so I booked a campground. Last time I stayed at Cherry Creek, this time I'm staying at Bar Lake. It's still just about 40 minutes from Denver Airport State Park, really convenient. But first we have to hit a vegan restaurant. We found a really good vegan restaurant, which sounds really good, so we're going there to find it now. Wave, you're on YouTube. Denver. We're just right outside of Denver. I'm, um, I found a vegan restaurant called Watercourse. I don't even know where we are. But um, Sadie needed to come out, so we're walking this neighborhood and these beautiful old brick houses and stuff. They're just gorgeous. I love exploring neighborhoods in uh, the different towns that I go to. When I do get out and walk around, it's always fun. Look at this! Oh my god, look at that! Look at these giant houses with the iron gates and some of them are apartment buildings. It's hot. It's hot. It's like 97 degrees. Look at that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. You see the leaded glass up there? Wow. Thank you. Do you see the letter? Is that leaded glass? See? She doesn't even know what a mailman is. That's awesome. Come on, sweet girl. Leadville is only about two, two and a half hours from Denver, but it's a long day of driving and packing up and a little sightseeing, so we're just taking our food to go, going back to the campground. All these neighborhoods in uh, Denver are beautiful, at least the side of town that I'm on right now. I'm loving the brick buildings. Christy and I were just talking, you don't see many brick buildings in California for obvious reasons. So this is pretty cool. our feast from Waterhouse. Cauliflower fried chicken. Fried cauliflower chicken with buffalo sauce. Uh, vegan potato salad. Cucumber salad. Haystack fries. And vegan Caesar salad. What, what? We are so excited. Drop my friend Chrissy off at the airport and uh, I need to get my tires checked. I still have duels in the back that I can't check because the valve stems are too deep inside. So I can't check them or fill them up without taking them off. And um, they do seem like they might have slow leaks. So, you know, it's easier just to pull in and have somebody take care of them. If I had, there are Les Schwab's in the area, but not here. So um, I, Les Schwab does it for free, but I'm gonna go to Big O and get my tires checked. Wow. Just heard a funny noise. Good, look at, there's nobody here. Sweet. Well, they're saying they don't do any work on RVs. This is ridiculous. Jack it up. 
but they said they'll check the tire pressure at least. So let's we'll see. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Strike two. Firestone said they also won't work on RVs. I'm kind of getting upset. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I've never had a problem pulling into a tire shop most of the time. And they just put it up. Yeah. Nope. Okay, yeah, I wasn't having a good day after I dropped my friend off at the airport. Had a tough time getting my tires checked. It all panned out, not necessarily right that day, but you make sure you stay tuned if you want to see how I take care of my rig as I go, the things that come up, life, philosophy, just, you know, it's Carolyn's life as I see it. <laughs> as which stay tuned on Tuesday for Electoral College if you're here for that and if not if you want just travel and uh, RV related stuff tune in every just about every Thursday and definitely on Sunday for that thank you all so much for being here I appreciate each and every one of you you can be able to see the fly there it goes the flies here are terrible but I'll see you next time in the meantime be happy be free and be kind and don't forget to subscribe bye <laughs>